This girl got pregnant, and she and her parents want me to step up and help her raise her baby. I'm not the dad. I told her no. I feel bad, though. Her dad told me I'm not a real man. Basically, this girl I always had a crush on got knocked up by some random loser, and now, while she is pregnant, she has been wanting to date me. Her parents want me to step up and be a man. So they don't have to help her take care of the baby for, like, the next 18 years and have her stay with them. But the thing is, I am not the dad. She said she wants me to be her boyfriend and for me to get a job and a place for her and me to live to help raise our kid. My dad told me to tell her to go for herself and not to put my dreams to the side and that I am so young and just a kid myself and to never, ever in my entire life get involved with her. He said her baby is not my responsibility and he will be heartbroken if I voluntarily take on this burden. I need your advice on this matter. Her dad says, you're not a real man for not wanting to raise another guy's child when he himself doesn't want to raise his grandchild. NTA, obviously. Just leave that trash behind. Sounds to me like the girl's parents have been told OP is the dad. I'd bet the real dad is a deadbeat loser who she doesn't want to admit to her parents she was involved with. Maybe an older sketchy guy or someone her parents think is bad news. And now she's pregnant and he's done a runner. She's told her parents it's OP, who sounds like a decent kid and would be a more acceptable baby dad in her parents' eyes. OP, I'd get your parents to get in touch with her parents and tell them you aren't the father. You've never slept with this girl, and if her parents insist you are, your family isn't prepared to give any money or support without a paternity test. I came here to comment, but Shapukia said everything that needed to be said about the baby drama and desperate mama. Good luck in the core. Are you sure you don't want to do four in college and go OCS? Yeah. One of my many regrets was going enlisted either way, SFMF. NTA, it isn't even in question. Do not let them do this to you. I wouldn't even trust that she really likes you. I'd assume she simply went to you because she knew you liked her and thought you'd be easy to trap so she wouldn't be a single mother. OP, as a 31F, this was my first thought too. Do not feel bad. Run, run, run. This situation seems like it would be a very long trying road full of resentment and perhaps a lack of support. This isn't your circus. This isn't your responsibility. I'm so happy to hear you have a dream. Go for it. Of course she doesn't like him. Just a coincidence. She's reciprocating the crush now. NTA, she knows you're going into the service, gonna try to get her and the baby on benefits. You'll be away. Baby daddy's still around. Tail as old as time, or at least as old as the core. He's not even in the core yet, and he's almost got himself a dependopotamus. That's next level. Plus, if OP really is enlisting, he'll have plenty of opportunities to raise some other guy's kid. No need to rush it. To yes. She'll probably try to convince him to legally adopt the child due. Even after the divorce, he has to pay child support. Pay Your dad for the win. He is giving you sound advice, and she does not was you to be her boyfriend. She wants you to be her victim. It is highly manipulative of her and not surprising by her family's response. This is why having a dad that looks out for you is so important. Hug that man. I already did, actually. NTA, don't ruin your life for her. You absolutely shouldn't be responsible for her and her child. She only wants to date you now because she knows you had a crush on her so she wants to take advantage of you. Get as far away from her as possible. I have blocked her and her family, and I told her and her family to never contact me again in any way, shape or form. I have also blocked her on all social media platforms. I do not know what she is going around telling people, and I have absolutely no control over that though, or won't even know what she is saying to others unless she or they tell me. Why is her dad even looking your way? Did she tell him that you are the dad, so she does not have to admit who the random dude who is the dad is? Red flags galore. Run as fast as you can. No, she did not. Her dad is well aware of the fact that I am not the dad. He just wants me to step up and be a man, and said his daughter loves me. NTA run, don't walk. This is wrong and I'm um, just wrong. I agree. Leave the state and block them. Don't talk to them anymore. Joining the corp will get you out of their grasp. NTA. 
Sounds like she only wants you now because she is pregnant and scared of raising a child alone. Don't do it. Don't let yourself get manipulated and follow your dreams. My dad drove me down to the local courthouse in our town to get what is known as a temporary restraining order against her and her parents. She and her parents are not to contact me by any means, and if they do, I am supposed to notify the sheriff for our town, and he will have his officers come by to their house and bring them to the jail. We live in a small town, and this is how the courts and law enforcement are set up in our town, Lameo. The staff at the courthouse were saying I would have to officially go before a judge and give a reasonable basis for why a real, permanent restraining order is needed. This is just the process slash the law. They were saying, BC, it is not considered urgent and there is no safety risk yet, just harassment. The restraining order could potentially last years or forever if needed. The staff were also saying, if she badmouths me to people, I could sue her for slander if I really wanted to, but it will very likely not be worth the time and money. BC, who cares if people, I may not even that she knows, think something bad of me. Luckily, though, she didn't go to the same schools and does live in a different town, but nearby, so we likely won't cross paths, and I will be gone soon anyways, and don't really know the same people anyways. Sounds like you've got yourself a great father there who raised a great son. Have fun, and good luck in the core. I found out the court has what they call a legal advocate, basically a college volunteer intern, different from a lawyer, in some office to help people come in and fill out forms and direct them to the right court section and understand paperwork and so on and get like disability access accommodations at the courthouse. I do not know how to do anything legal related and I'm clueless, so I went there for help. The legal advocate feels really bad for me, like genuinely. He is a college kid about my age, studying pre-law, and he helped me and even walked me through all the steps in detail put in my request for a permanent restraining order into the clerk for next available judge as soon as possible, and told me to be ready for my hearing and to explain all of this to the judge, and then they can hopefully make it like a forever, or at least years long, restraining order against both the girl and her parents. I think he identifies with me so much, being a young guy about my age himself and feels really bad about the situation. BC, I could tell he went the extra mile for me. NTA. She had the choice between the sensible option and the irresponsible one. Now she's let Miss Irresponsible knock her up and run and wants Mrs. Sensible, who is always going to have a good career and be able to pay his way, to take the cost. You should not accept being second choice. Wait until you find a girl who wants you for your ability to be yourself, not your ability to sort out her mistakes. Good luck in the core. NTA. Her family are incredibly selfish and they're leeches. That being said, please make sure everyone knows this isn't your child. I don't trust people like this. My dad informed my mom they are divorced and she lives out of state about the situation by phone. My brother is staying with her this summer. He goes there during the summers and holidays. I am so happy he is not here. Arn, I love my little bro, but I don't need this to be a family issue. I was very upset. He told my mom, BC, I don't want her to worry and what can she do about this? But my dad said my mom should be informed and that they both love and care about me. My mom lost her mind. My brother is saying she is having panic attacks or in. What precisely is she having panic attacks over? My advice to you would be to make a social media post about the situation. If you can't get that restraining order, and if they try to contact you again in any way, make sure it was recorded and or if you have a transcript, such as they tried to reach out to your relatives via text. Don't feel bad about this situation. Why should you? You have nothing to do with it. If you can be a man, so can any other boy. So can the actual father of that kid. She got knocked up by some random loser and expects you to suffer for what precisely? Why the hell do you feel bad about that? Her dad told me I am not a real man. He really meant you're not a real mug. You would not be biologically related to this baby, but it will be his biological grandchild. But he wants you to raise and pay for it because he doesn't want to. If you went along with this scam, 
What would this fertile young lady get up to while you are away at work? My bet would be that she would be spending your hard-earned money while going out with various losers like the one who got her pregnant. Obviously, your NTA. I think you should tell her father that, while you used to be physically attracted to his daughter, her moral bankruptcy and that of her family in trying to scam you into raising another man's child makes her entirely unsuitable as a wife and life partner. The girl's dad is a very aggressive guy and goes around threatening people whenever he is angry and is crazy. He is also broke, IK. This BC, there have been a lot of rumors about him in the community. Yeah, whatever you do, don't attach yourself to this family. When you go before the judge, talk about how you felt intimidated and or scared of the girl's dad and how he spoke and acted towards you. Be truthful, but this is the crux of why you need the order. Basically, this girl I always had a crush on got knocked up by some random loser, and now while she is pregnant, she has been wanting to date. Sounds like a bunch of losers here. She's a loser for getting knocked up by a random guy, and you're a loser because she only wants to date you when she's desperate, and her parents are losers for wanting a random kid to step up. You got a cool dad, though. Listen to him. NTA. Why the feck is OP a loser? Because she's using him as a fallback guy. She's doing it, because she would have known he had a crush on her. Nothing to do with being a loser. Just a woman, and her family, being highly manipulative to get free childcare. NTA. By the way, I think the girl has somehow implied to her parents that you are the father, or in some way responsible for her being pregnant. Go live your life. I obviously wouldn't know what is going on on their end, unless she or they told me about their private conversations. But it was clear by the phone conversation that her father is well aware I am not the dad, and is just like my daughter, loves you, go be with her. It's all complete BS. I am stunned he even reached out to me like this. They are mental to even be playing this game with you. This is your life they are messing with, just like she messed with hers. Do not do that. If you have to ask a forum, there's your answer, to say no and run away from that family fast. Her dad is not a man. If he doesn't want to help his daughter or find the actual sperm donor and take him to court, get out while you can. Good luck in the core. You'll have resentment forever if you don't follow your dream. NTA. Her parents are pathetic though, trying to pawn her off to you because they don't want to take care of their daughter. Core aside, Raising someone else's child is no joke. You need to be 100% willing or you'll grow resentful because you will be forced to make sacrifices for this child. All parents need to sacrifice a bit for their children, but they chose to have them. Would you be willing and fine with making your life revolve around this baby? On top of that, you have a crush on her, but having a crush doesn't mean you are actually compatible. A crush is just a crush. To understand if you're compatible, you need to actually date so that you can then decide if she's someone you want to have a relationship with or not based on how her parents and her are behaving. Even if you accept to date, they will not accept a breakup if you decide you don't want any of it. You also say she's a handful. If she has the same mindset as her parents, you'll be trapped in a toxic relationship where you are just an ATM. Stick to your guns, keep saying no, or even better, stop every interaction with them. Their opinion means nothing. You are not the one who got her pregnant. You have no obligation towards her. They are being manipulative and irrational. If they need a walking ATM, they should drag the bio dad to court to pay child support. Either this girl is lying to her parents about you being the father, or you're not sharing with us the whole context of what is at play here. Otherwise, this makes no sense. Your goal of joining the Marine Corps is an important decision that can define your future. It's crucial to focus on what's best for you in the long run. Don't feel obligated to take on responsibilities that aren't yours, especially when your future is at stake. Stay firm in your dreams and goals. She belongs to the streets, for the record. There's absolutely nothing wrong if that's what you wanted. My granddad raised my mum as his own, and none of us knew until after he died. But he wanted to be with my nan. But being pressured by this girl's parents is bullshit. 
They're trying to pass her off to someone else because they don't want to deal with it. WTF NTA. You should cut off contact with her family, if anything. Hi and bye. That's it. It's kind of wicked of them to try to manipulate you to take care of their daughter. She's wicked too, and desperate and dense for getting pregnant so young. You want to be her backup and father a baby that isn't yours. Don't settle and don't be a simp. You have your whole life ahead of you. Taking on this responsibility is going to derail you. Be a man, lol. Go live your life, little bro. I don't think I will ever want to say hi to them, but I have no problem saying bye to them. Nimfeo. NTA. Her dad is a real piece of work for even suggesting you should step up, let alone throwing shade at you for saying no, he's her father. If the guy who knocked your friend up isn't around, then it's on him to support his daughter, not you. There's a stark irony here in him suggesting that you're less of a man for not stepping up. The fact that you're here asking Reddit about this shows that you obviously have some decency about you and you care and are concerned about your friend. Her dad is weaponizing that to try to manipulate you. Your friend is also manipulating you. It's clear she always knew that you had a crush on her, but up until now, you were friend-zoned. She's dropped her life onto a different track to the one she expected. No doubt a scary one at 18 years old, and certainly a more difficult one. You're not involved in that, Tumbert. But suddenly, you're the decent, reliable, and supportive partner that she needs, the man she wants to raise her kid with. Don't be fooled, OP. You're young. There's a whole world out there with lots you've yet to discover and many people you've yet to meet. This girl only wants you now because she needs a crutch. Do not give up your future for this person. The fact that she's treating you like this tells you that she's not as special as you may have thought that she is. Good luck to her, but she is not your concern and you have absolute zero obligation toward her and no right-minded person would expect someone in your place to sacrifice your plans for her. NTA at all. But since you are joining the most blunt of organizations, it'll be really blunt with you. If you are this naive now, the core will eat you alive. If you don't grow and adapt, you will need to grow a spine and some common sense. Fast Basic should help with that. Navy Basic did for me years ago, but the Marines are not kind at all. But if you are even asking this question, you have some traits that the Marines need to work out of you, or else you are in for a bad time. Remember, stay as invisible as you can, keep your head down, don't volunteer for anything, and focus on gaining confidence in yourself. NTA sucks that she is your crush, but she didn't give you the time of day when she was not pregnant, but now that she is, she wants you. Come on, dude. You know it, Reddit knows it, your dad knows it. Da they know it, they want to use you, and they want to lock you into an 18-plus year responsibility that is not yours. If you do this, I mean, I got a mortgage plus other bills that I need you to be a man and pay off for me. Seriously, though, ignore and move on with your life. Go to the crops and be something, but not a stepdad to a child that's not yours, with a person who didn't know you existed until they got pregnant. Get a letter sent via a solicitor stating you are not the father, that you have never had sex with this person, and do not intend to provide any sort of support for it. Add to the letter stating, if they attempt to put your name on the birth certificate, you will consider this to be an act of fraud and will take legal action both to correct the issue and for compensation and legal costs. State clearly on the letter, you will consider the woman and her parents liable if they try this, that you never settle out of court and will go after any and all their assets, including vehicles and property. Get this done ASAP or this family is going to stick your name on the birth certificate and try to emotionally blackmail you into paying money. They're also likely to lie to the CSA to see if they can get some money out of you before it's all corrected. Then they'll fight to not repay any of it. Gotta preemptively strike first and state you do not care how this affects them emotionally and financially. This will be cheaper for you in the long run than trying to fight a case for years with the CSA as they drag stuff out for a long time. Dog, this is the closest to Forrest Gump you will ever be. Do not go back for Jenny. Move on to bigger and better things. But for real, man, 
It sounds like you got a good head on your shoulders and you are making the right moves. Keep your head up and be proud. Often, the right decision is not the one that makes you feel the greatest. It saddens me very deeply. This had to be asked, but alas, here we are. Firstly, NTA tell her and her family to f off, cut contact. The girl just wants a meal ticket. She f***ed around, quite literally, and found out, like many other unfortunate single mothers out there, who chose wrong and for some reason kept the embryo and let it grow. This is her problem to figure out. Listen, your father. Go to core. Enjoy your youth and don't get knock up anyone until you're ready. Also, stay away from strippers. They'll try to weasel their way into your bed too. For the benefits, don't collect a dependa. Trust me, you don't want that. Had a few buddies fall for it? Just no. Also, also fuck her dad, piece of shit. Wouldn't know a real man if he got punched in the face by one. If anything, by standing your ground and saying no, you're more of a man at 19 than this simp who wants a sucker for his fast tail ass daughter. OP, if you even consider for a second dating her or accepting that baby, I hope your family disowns you. You had nothing to do with her choices, no reason to carry the consequences. People will never stop guilt tripping you and shaming you based on your gender sex to get what they want. Do no yield to these leeches. Edit, next time her father comes talking about real men, tell him this. One, real men don't pump and dump. Two, real men raise daughters that can tell a real man from a bum. Three, his daughter a bum. So how can he come and call you out when his daughter's fucking sh baga and he's either too afraid to hold them accountable or incompetent to find them? In any case, these are not your problems. I went through almost this exact situation when I was your age. I didn't have aspirations to enlist. I nearly fell into the trap, but came to my senses and realized I was the consolation prize for her. I was glad to have dodged that bullet and would advise you to do the same. NTA. Her parents think you're the dad. You need to clear that up and go live your life. Have you ever had sex with her? Are you 100% certain? There's no possible way. It is your baby. You're being coerced into a situation where your youth and body will be used for other people's ends and discarded when you're no longer useful and broken. Also, don't raise someone else's child. If they want a sugar daddy, they should look for an older, already rich incel, not a kid who isn't established yet. Relax, take a deep breath and follow your dreams. Listen to your dad to definitely never ever get involved with her. Her parents are something else, and this child is not your responsibility, as you are not the father. The girl's father may be right. You are not a man, yet. You still have some growing up to do, and deserve to do this without being guilt-tripped into some fake, imaginary fairy tale of hers. Because she either doesn't know who the father is, or the guy doesn't want anything to do with her. I assume it is option one, because she is looking for someone to take over, delete all contacts, and block her on everything. Remove yourself from your life and go live yours. Best wishes, stay safe during your service time. In te, who cares what she and her parents think? Trying to baby trap a random man so their daughter can freeload through life isn't exactly people you should care about. The opinion of NTA, her parents are f***ing idiots. It's bad enough, their own daughter has ruined her own path. And now they have the audacity to try to convince you to ruin your path to help their daughter, who is obviously using you. It's not going to work out. Don't let your crush interfere with your common sense. It will destroy your life and your soul. Stand firm, wish her well, and move on with your life. And yes, tell her father to get f***ed. Just a very important information you should know. If you take any fatherly role of that kid, you will be on the hook for child support. We're talking hundreds of thousands of dollars, even if it's not your kid. It's a common law called in loco parentis. Do her parents think you are the father? Most likely because she told them that? Because their reaction makes absolutely no sense. Even if you were dating her now, it would be a strange response, but not crazy, with you not even currently dating her. Now it just makes this request slash demand so incredibly crazy. Look, there's a lot of things we all feel badly about, but we can't stop living our lives to help save people from themselves. Follow your dreams, whatever they may be, and even if you don't succeed, 
it doesn't mean you need to jump into that situation. Live your life. She doesn't want to date you. She needs stability and someone to rely on for emotional support, financial support, etc. And that person is you. Her dad wants nothing to do with her hookup child. So he's pressuring you into stepping up to the plate. It's clear her trash personality stems from a shitty family life. I cannot express just how important it is to stay far away from this one. You don't owe someone else's kid anything. She does not exist as far as your life is concerned, and a court of law will back this. You aren't the daddy. Don't allow her to ruin your life just because she was stupid. Nothing to feel bad about. This has nothing to do with you. She's just trying to manipulate you because you have feelings. P.S. Tell her father that a real man doesn't try to trap an innocent guy into supporting a girl who got preggers by some other guy. He is the one who's not a real man, since he don't teach his daughter how babies are made or how birth control works. Real men recognize when they failed at parenting their now pregnant unwed daughter. Have fun being a grandpa. Guess who just wants someone else to deal with her instead of him?